Hi, it's Kernetex here with a video about preparing Ubuntu for building Linux from scratch. Uh, so this in particular this video is about the packages and minimum versions required as detailed in chapter 2.2 .2 of the Linux from scratch book. By default Ubuntu doesn't come with certain packages installed and certain settings. So this video will go through those settings and packages that need to be made or installed so that um, it, the Ubuntu installation is in a fit state to build Linux from scratch. So what I'll do first when the desktop is loaded, I'll go to the Linux from scratch website and bring up the manual and show you the section that details this information. So if I just load the browser, I'll get a terminal up while I'm waiting for that to load as well. Okay. So jump to the Linux from scratch website, go to the book, read online, stable, and this is the section that um, details all this information. So here's, here's all the packages and the versions that's the minimum allowed to be able to install Linux from scratch successfully. There's also a script here which gives a report on these installed packages or whether they're installed or not. So um, I've already created that script file so what I'm going to do is just mount it. I've got it on a separate partition. And I can run it using this command here. And you'll see it's the same as the first, uh, the command that's bottom of this script that you can copy in. So you can see there's a few commands not found so there's some packages we need to install also some sim links that don't exist um, or they're incorrect for example if you read the book that page it says that this sim link should point to Gork but well, of course Gork's not installed so that's why we've got a different um, Gork installed. So I'll start off with this first error um, you can see there's where I've um, run the script it's found bash that's fine but um, the bin sh symlink is not pointing to that bash it's pointed to dash so that's something that this error is reporting so there's several ways to change the um, default shell but the safest way in terms of installing Linux from scratch is to recreate a symlink um, to the bash file so I'll use ln for setting up a link minus s for a soft link, sim link, and uh, v for verbose and f to force the installation of this link. So I want to link user bin bash and create or overwrite the bin sh sim link to point at user bin bash. So there that's done. If I rerun the script you can see now that bin sh is pointing to user bin bash and there's no error stating that um, it's not pointing to bash. So the next error we've got to deal with is LD is missing and this is part of the bin utils package. So to install that we can use apt install bin utils and just press enter there to accept the default of yes and then install it, download it and install it and when that's finished updating, all we need to do is rerun the script. And you can just double check that bin utils is now installed. It's giving us, giving us a version number. And you can see the next one we've got to look at is Bison. So let's install that one the same way. Apt install Bison, press enter to accept the default of yes install. And that's finished, so rerun the script. 
and you can see that Python's now installed and it's created a symlink user bin yak which points to user bin bison.yak so the next one we want to install is gawk so once again just apt install gawk that's all done so we can just recall the script again run the script and you can see Orcs now installed and the symlink's been updated so that Orc is pointing at Gork. So the next two are compilers. First one's the C compiler we need to install. GCC. So it's quite a large package to download. So it'll take a little bit longer than the others. Okay, that's all done. So let's rerun the script, make sure that's been installed and it's recognized. It is 10.2.0. So the next one we need to install is G, which is the C compiler, the GNU version. Yep, accept that. And that's installed. So again, rerun the script, check it's installed, it is, and we'll look for the next one, which is make that needs to be installed. Okay, that's done. Check it again. Yep, there's make, and we've got one more to do, which is make info. Now make info is actually a package, so if we try to install, uh, sorry, a, a command, but if we try to install make info, it won't work because, as I say, it's a, a command, not a package. Apps deals with packages. Make info is part of a package called text info, so we install that, and that should bring in make info, and we'll get rid of that error. So that's done, rerun the script, oops, run the right command, there it is, and you can see that we've got no errors now, just have a quick scan down, no errors, um, the next thing to do would be to check, double check the versions of these packages now against the versions in the book, make sure they're at least the version that's in the book or greater, um, and assuming that's okay, you can carry on building Linux from scratch, just carry on following the book, building Linux from scratch. So thank you for watching, hope you've uh, found it useful, if you have, please th uh, click the thumbs up, like the video and subscribe to my channel if uh, you've not done so already to hear about uh, other videos I'll be doing similar to this. Thank you for watching, goodbye.